Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, this morning we're down here at Rescue Ridge. Uh, so this is an area kind of further off from the refuge. If you guys have ever taken any of our private tours, we've taken you around this area. These animals are all fed first thing in the morning so that they kind of have the rest of the day to relax. It's sort of our geriatric center or our retirement home, a lot of people call it. Uh, so by feeding them first thing in the morning, it enables them to have the rest of the day just to kind of do whatever they want. So that being said, because they're fed first thing in the morning, um, once their bellies are full, they're gonna kind of relax and lay down the rest of the day. So if they need any type of medication or anything in particular, we'll give it to them first thing before they're fed. <laughs> so it entices them to eat whatever we're trying to get them to take. So in this case today, we're doing some deworming rounds. Now this is completely precautionary. Um, you know, groundworms, pinworms, they live in the dirt. So a lot of our new rescues that we get, they'll go through a three-day treatment just to make sure that they're clear and, and nothing's sitting in their gut or living in there or anything parasitic. Um, so we'll do that for any of our new rescues, just as kind of a normal update or medical care. For the cats who live here, and even if they've lived here for 10 plus years, um, we're still gonna do a deworming dose um, every three months or so, we'll try to do that. Um, I say try because a lot of the cats are incredibly picky. <laughs> because they're so large, they need a really large dose. So if any of you have ever given your dewormer to your cats or dogs, imagine that now times 500 pounds. Um, so for some of the smaller cats, it's a little bit easier because it's a smaller dose. But for the bigger tigers and even the bears, um, we have to be very sneaky about how we hide the dewormer. So because it's a, a bigger animal, we... Actually, we'll use um, Panicure, it's um, fenbendazole, and ivermectin paste. They're both paste forms. They do come in liquid form, uh, so thus things we'll, that we'll give to Goober because they're a little bit smaller. Um, and even, like I said, your house cats will get that as well. So the unfortunate thing about these two is it's um, cinnamon apple flavored and apple flavored. <laughs> so you can see on the picture here, they're meant for horses. Um, and that's just because, again, we need it in such a large dose. So because it does taste like cinnamon or it smells very potent like apple, uh, some of the cats are gonna be very aware of that. <laughs> so for the bears, it's great because we'll just hide it into peanut butter sandwiches and we give them out that way and they love it. Uh, you can imagine a bear's sweet tooth would um, be very fond of that dewormer. But for the cats, of course, they don't wanna smell anything sweet. So we'll do our best to try to hide it. Uh, so for in this case, this is Tony and Prince here. Um, and you can see we do have them separated. So that's Prince on the left-hand side and Tony on the right-hand side. They have to be separated for feeding, so that way we ensure that they're getting their proper diet. Uh, so one's in the night house and one's out in the yard here. Uh, so we're going to try with Tony here to get him over to the bench. Uh, his dewormer is actually mixed into some wet cat food. Um, he is the problem child of the two. <laughs> Prince will eat pretty much anything, so we don't have to hide his as, as much. Um, but for Tony, we learned last time when we first rescued these guys, it was um, there were some severe floods in um, the Arkansas River. So um, again, these guys were privately owned. They were living in a really bad situation. We got to them just in the nick of time. So you can go back and look at our rescue stories about how we got these guys. So because they were new, we did our first round of dewormer and we figured out very fast that Tony could smell everything. <laughs> so we tried in, in raw egg, we tried in beef, we tried in ground beef. We tried in turkey, we tried in chicken, none of it worked. Uh, so we finally figured out that cat food worked really well for him. Um, so we're able to kind of mix that up in the, the liquid form of cat food. So we're going to see if he wants to take it. Again, they're kind of waiting for their diet. So this entices them to be a little bit more hungry. So we'll see if he wants it. And so you can see I kind of had to be super quick there. He's very food aggressive. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> and just making sure he gets it all and he's going to lick all of it up as well. And you can hear him growling, like I said, <laughs> very food aggressive. So he's good, he got it all. So now he can have his diet. Um, we're gonna move on to Prince over here. And again, for those of you just joining us this morning, we're down here at Rescue Ridge. Um, these guys are separated for feeding time. These animals are fed first thing in the morning. Uh, so we'll separate them so that they ensure they get their proper diet amount. 
Um, we're trying to do some dewormer here. It's just a precaution. Um, none of our animals here have worms. They're not living in um, any type of uh, situation that they would be when we rescued them. Um, so we're very clean and sanitary here. But this is, again, just precaution and just medical um, treatment. And again, this is Prince in the night house here. And again, the only reason he's in the night house is to keep him separated from Tony while they eat. And this is just wet cat food that we're mixing the dewormer into. And again, just to keep them healthy. Um, and for the new rescues, if they do have any type of parasite living in their gut, this will push it right out. It'll kill everything on its way out. So we'll be able to tell in their stool if anything comes out with it. Um, so they both ate it really well, which is exciting. That's, that's good news for us, <laughs> so we don't have to try so hard. Uh, so now they can get their full diets, and we'll move on and try some of the rest of the cats as well. Um, you can see for some of the other doses, this is one of the tigers here that we'll go see at Lowers. Um, it's a lot more pieces of meat that has to go into it. And again, it's ivermectin and fenbendazole that we use here, and it's about every three and a half months or so. And again, just precautionary, uh, just to keep them as healthy as can be. And um, we have the ability to do it. Our veterinarian keeps a very close schedule on it, and um, we're able to purchase all of these in bulk, <laughs> thanks to our supporters. And this is just part of our, our daily care for medical treatments and keeping them, again, as healthy as possible. Um, so thanks to you guys just keeping on supporting us and we'll be able to keep buying these medications along with their control meds. That's kind of what's in the rest of all of this. <laughs> so you've seen videos about the tramadol and gabapentin and things for pain if the animals have been declawed or if they're older. So we're going to go around and do all of that this morning uh, on top of the dewormer here. <laughs> so once again, thank you guys so much for supporting us so we are able to purchase these medications. It's it's not cheap, as you can imagine, for, um, you know, over 80 animals to be able to get all of these medications. So thank you to all of our supporters. Um, so we'll feed these guys now, and then we'll continue on uh, throughout the rest of, rest of Rescue Ridge. But uh, tune in with us later this afternoon. We'll have another live. Uh, other than that, you guys, thank you so much for supporting us, and donate when you can. And stay safe and healthy out there. Thanks, guys.